coming from moving the goalposts in Kilifi, which is in Kenya. My presentation at this conference was about um, the project I'm working with and how we measure the impact of it. It was called Doing It Ourselves, and Participatory Monitoring and Evaluation of a Girls' Football and Development Project. Um, moving the Goalposts is a, a sports and development project and we focus on the reproductive health needs of, of girls. Uh, so I was presenting about um, how we've tried to measure the impact of the program. And, um, We've tried to do it in a very participatory way. We have very limited capacity and we really try and get the girls involved in doing the activities themselves. So we set up um, our monitoring and evaluation with a team of girls who have gone out and discussed issues with girls' football teams. Um, we've particularly focused on what's it like for girls to play football in Khalifi and um, what impact is it having on their life skills? And by life skills, we define them as confidence, self-esteem, leadership, um, team working skills and organization skills. And then we've also done some evaluation around their sexual and reproductive health needs. So I was presenting on the process of what we've, we've done over the last year. Well, for me, coming to this conference has been a really um, great experience to expose what we're doing on the ground in Kenya to a much wider audience and also to be able to discuss what we're doing and get other people's ideas. Um, I think sport and development and particularly the monitoring and evaluation of it is still a very new field and we need to have a lot of discussions around um, the kind of relevance of sport as a development tool. So this conference gives us that opportunity and it's great to meet people from the US who are studying here, people with academic backgrounds which can complement what practitioners like myself are doing on the ground in Africa. I think at this conference there's been such a huge variety of um, subjects that we've covered and um, it's quite difficult to coordinate them all together. Um, I think for people who are working in Africa implementing programs, it's good if we can link up and collaborate with academic institutions which can help build capacity in uh, developing countries. Um, I think maybe we need to be a bit more focused sometimes in, in, in what we're doing um, and it's it would be good if we can develop more networks around specific issues or specific projects or um, whatever to, to give us a bit more focus whether it's geographical or whether it's thematic. Um, about Ohio, it's my first time here at um, Ohio University and I'm coming from a place in Africa where the temperature is about 30 degrees and virtually 100% humidity. So it's very very cold here but it's very nice. Um, I'm really enjoying that because it's quite nice not to just be so tired because it's so hot. Um, so I've really enjoyed, enjoyed the coldness. I've really enjoyed um, the network that there is of African students who are here, not just in Ohio, but also who've come from other universities. It's really interesting to meet them and you know, it's a really nice melting pot to meet people from not just from Kenya or East African countries, but also from other parts of the continent. Um, yeah, I think I'd, I'd love to come back next year and um, it would be great to link more with the people who are organising the conference and really think critically about how we can best use it to um, promote sport and development within um, an African context.